Have you ever wondered how one of the darkest periods of human history, the Holocaust, unfolded? A time that witnessed a scale of human suffering and brutality that is hard to comprehend. A time where millions were systematically exterminated simply because of their identity. This was the Holocaust, a horrifying chapter etched indelibly into the annals of history. A story of not just despair, but also of resilience and survival. Join us as we journey back to the mid-20th century, to the heart of Europe. It all started with the rise of a man named Adolf Hitler and his party, the Nazis. In the aftermath of World War I, Germany was left devastated and defeated, crippled by the punishing Versailles Treaty. This created fertile ground for the ascension of Hitler, a charismatic speaker who promised to restore Germany's might and dignity. As the Great Depression further strangled the world economy in the late 20s, Hitler saw an opportunity. His fiery speeches, filled with blame and promises of revival, resonated with the desperate German populace. The Nazis seized control of the government in 1933, marking the beginning of a totalitarian regime. In the hands of the Nazis, propaganda became a powerful tool. Manipulating the masses, fostering an atmosphere of fear and hate, and paving the way for the persecution of those deemed undesirable. And thus, the stage was set for a dark era in human history. With the Nazis in power, anti-Jewish laws were imposed, ostracizing the Jewish community. In the cradle of this new regime, the Nuremberg Laws were born, a set of regulations designed to marginalize and disenfranchise Germany's Jewish citizens. These laws were a grim harbinger of the horrors yet to come. Enacted in September of 1935, the Nuremberg Laws stripped Jewish individuals of their rights and freedoms. The laws prohibited marriages between Jews and non-Jews, denied Jews the right to hold public office or civil service positions, and later excluded them from attending schools or universities. This legal discrimination served to isolate the Jewish community, to make them the other, the outsider. The repercussions were profound, seeping into every facet of Jewish life, leaving a lasting impact on the Jewish community. The world watched in silence, as one by one the lights of liberty were extinguished for the Jewish people. The noose was tightening around the Jewish community. In 1942, the Nazis devised a plan they called the Final Solution. This was not a solution to any problem humanity had ever known, but rather the sickening blueprint for genocide, the mass extermination of Jews across Europe. The Nazis, under the ruthless leadership of Adolf Hitler, aimed to cleanse the continent of its Jewish population, a monstrous goal they pursued with chilling efficiency. The final solution saw the creation of death factories, known as concentration and extermination camps. These were scattered across Nazi-occupied territories, the most infamous being Auschwitz, Treblinka and Sobibor. These camps were not places of incarceration but of extermination. Men, women and children were systematically murdered in gas chambers, their bodies burned in crematoria. Life, if it can be called that in these camps, was a living nightmare. The prisoners were subjected to inhumane conditions, enduring starvation, disease and brutal labour. Every day was a struggle for survival, with death lurking around every corner. The final solution marked a horrifying escalation in the Nazis' anti-Jewish policies. It was genocide on an industrial scale, a level of brutality and inhumanity that is difficult to comprehend. Millions of innocent lives were extinguished in the name of a perverse ideology, leaving a scar on humanity that will never fully heal. The horror of the final solution marked the peak of the Holocaust. It stands as a grim reminder of the depths to which humanity can sink when blinded by hatred and prejudice. The year 1945 brought liberation, but also revealed the true extent of the Holocaust. As the Allied forces advanced, they began to liberate the concentration and extermination camps one by one. The liberators, soldiers hardened by the brutality of war, were nonetheless shocked by the scenes that greeted them. Emaciated survivors skeletal in their frailty alongside the remnants of those who didn't survive. The liberation was not a moment of instant relief. 
The survivors, many of whom were on the brink of death, had to be nursed back to health. Others were left to grapple with the psychological scars, haunted by the memories of their torment. The world, too, was forced to confront the reality of what had transpired. The images and stories that emerged from the liberated camps served as a chilling reminder of humanity's capacity for cruelty. In the aftermath of the Holocaust, the international community took steps to ensure justice. The Nuremberg Trials, which took place between 1945 and 1949, saw prominent Nazi officials and collaborators held accountable for their crimes against humanity. These trials established important precedents in international law, setting the stage for future prosecutions of war crimes and crimes against humanity. Despite these efforts, the shadow of the Holocaust continues to loom large. The world had witnessed an unthinkable horror. The scars remain a poignant reminder of the past and a stark warning for the future. The Holocaust serves as a stark reminder of the depths to which humanity can descend. It was a time when human life was disregarded on an unimaginable scale, where hatred and intolerance reigned supreme. The rise of Hitler and the Nazis, the imposition of anti-Jewish laws, and the final solution all culminated in a horror that shook the world to its core. We've journeyed through the darkness of this era, explored the chilling rise of a regime fueled by prejudice and hate, and witnessed the systematic extermination of millions under the guise of a final solution. We have also seen the light of liberation and the aftermath of an event that forever scarred the face of human history. The Holocaust was not an isolated incident, nor was it an inevitable consequence of the times. It was the result of choices, decisions made by individuals who chose hate over love, intolerance over understanding, and division over unity. But as we look back, we must also look forward. We must remember not only the victims, but also the heroes who risked everything to save lives. We must remember the resilience of the survivors who rebuilt their lives from the ashes of despair. As we remember the Holocaust, we must strive to ensure that such a tragedy never happens again. We must use the lessons of the past to guide our present and shape our future, because only by remembering can we hope to create a world where such atrocities are a thing of the past.